What's good everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming for you guys today. Now you know I'm finally able to start smelling again after I had a vivid COVID. I'm so over it. Like I was waiting for my smell to come back and thank God it is. So next week I'm going to be going to the mall and getting some fragrances for you guys to review. I'm so excited. But I wanted to make my wish list video and I love making these videos because it's like me predicting whether I'm going to like a fragrance or not and it's always so funny because I get to the store and I'm like oh hell no hell no but I want to go over the fragrances the fragrance notes everything that I'm excited for oh by the way subscribe girl literally go follow me on TikTok I'm on there all the time and Instagram so the first one I have is pastel skies now the packaging I love literally I love it. it is so just precious and cute and I can't but the fragrance notes are soft cloud berries pink sponge sugar and coconut musk now that sounds amazing the sponge sugar and the coconut together like it sounds literally like the best thing ever except the thing is bath and body works could either do berry scents really good or really bad it really depends on just what fragrance it is and what the notes are i do have high hopes just because you know coconut musk in there i think they will all come on each other really well so i'm super excited i feel like that would be an amazing summer fragrance so i'm so excited to try that one this is tutti fruity candy now not a fan of the packaging i think the packaging is actually um tragic tragic but the fragrance notes are sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. Now, this could be a hit. It could be a miss. I, it's one of those that I already know it's not going to be like, oh, it's all right. It's going to be like, oh, God, no, or oh, thank God they created this fragrance. The packaging just like really uh, Bath and Body Works. Um, I know you like literally don't want me to be a part of your team, which for some reason I understand. But, um that's gotta go i'm giving the advice right now it's gotta go but i'm super excited to try that it might be good it might not be i'm like actually really nervous now the next one is white t-shirt which i already have the body lotion and i just finished off the shower gel um because i got that off like mercari my friend bought it for me zach bought it for me now they finally have it so i'm so excited to try the spray i absolutely think it's bath and body works like best fragrance ever so there's crisp pear, fresh white t-shirt, lavender cloud, clean musk, and soft sandalwood. Beautiful. I'm telling you guys, I always say when they add pear to fresh fragrances, I don't know what it is. It complements each other so well. Like, so well. It's crazy. And I used to not think so. I used to be like, what the heck? Why would pear and like fresh stuff go together? No. It is good, let me tell you. I don't really want bubbly rosé. I have enough fragrances that are on like the bubbly side, like Prosecco and stuff. Like, I don't know why I love them, but I'm kind of just, I have so many that I'm just like, I'm okay. I'm okay. The next one is Cloud Nine. This is in the same collection as the first one I mentioned. Now, this I feel like I would really like. Now it's Lavender Breeze, Morning Dew Drops, and Cozy Amber. The only thing that could F this up is the Amber because me and Amber have, we have a love-hate relationship. Like, it's so funny. I always get asked, do you like Amber Romance? I'm like, hell no. Hell no. That is, like, probably, like, one of my most hated fragrances ever. Ever. I just, as much as I try to like it, I just, I will never like it. I'm not sure why. But I have grown to enjoy amber fragrances a lot. But the thing is with amber, I don't like straight up amber. It needs to be mixed with something. So I'm hoping like the morning dew drops really just like lift it and it's not as like amber. You know what I mean? Anyways, there's a whipped berry meringue. So let's read the fragrance notes. This I'm, I'm skeptical to try, but here we go. It's fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. I do feel like I could possibly like this. Sometimes when they try doing like a foodie type fragrance, it either goes really good or like really bad. It, it could go south really quick. So that's my only problem. I'm like, oh, I might like it. I don't know. But the packaging is fire. So you go bath and body works. They are getting better with fragrance packaging. Like they are. 
This next one is Copper Coconut Sands. Really like the packaging. It's like that typical summery vibe. Now the fragrance notes are sun-kissed coconut, soft orchid petals, and creamy sandalwood, which I just, I feel like I'm gonna like this fragrance a lot. Now the coconut in there, I just love coconut fragrances. I think they mix so well with like body chemistry. Um, and then the soft, the, the soft, I cannot speak English. Um, literally someone buy me a dictionary immediately. Um, the orchid petals, the soft orchid petals is what it's called. I don't know, could it buy? The creamy sandalwood and the, those two and the petals together, I could see definitely vibing, but um, the coconut in there? We'll see. I have, I have faith in this one. I do have faith in this one. It does seem like something I would like. You know what? For the heck of it, let's look at Gingham Love. Let's look at the fragrance notes. I think I've smelled it before. Sugar Dead Berries, Blushing Freesia, and Rose Meringue. I guess I just am biased. Anytime they try and do a different type of gingham, I'm like canceled. No, like I don't know why they will like call it like gingham love. Like just call it a different, call it a different thing because then I'm like smelling it. I guess expecting one fragrance, um, just a little bit altered than another. You know how Victoria's Secret does it too? They'll be like bare vanilla la creme or something, which I love, but it will not smell anything like bare vanilla. I'm like boo, stop being lazy. Come up with a new name, you know? But I am, um, honestly, we will smell that. I'm not going to be biased. I will try it out. Ooh, you guys, you guys, I have faith. I have hope. So this is Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Now the fragrance notes are Sweet Pink Pineapple, Palm Sugar, and Sun Drenched Nectar. I um, am beyond excited. I will probably pass out and die if it is bad. Any hoosies? Next one. This is peach prosecco macaroon. I'm okay. Listen, the prosecco. I don't know, but it potentially could be good. But I have a strong feeling I'm not gonna buy it. It says peach prosecco, vanilla cream, and macaroon cookie. I mean, I don't know. I don't really have hope in that one. Oh, I didn't see this one. Pear creme brulee. Baked pear, caramelized sugar, and whipped cream. Oh, I might like that. I might really enjoy that. I'm excited. That one I have definitely hoped in. Uh, you guys. This is my Chuckles. You guys are finally meeting him. He is a mush ball. He's actually a stray. And he's my baby for life. Guys, it's so funny. People come over. I'll be like, yeah, you can pick him up. He's just a mush. He's a little stuffed animal. No. You guys, this is my child. He's the sweetest cat. I don't know how he was astray. Hello. No. Do you ever, like, take your cat or, like, your dog and, like, you put them in the mirror and you're like, do you see yourself? All right, you guys, that is everything that I'm looking forward to trying. I am so excited to be going to the store this week. Hopefully, I will bring you guys along and just show you all the new stuff and whatnot. I'm super excited, and I just want you guys to know how much I love you and I appreciate you, and you all mean the absolute world to me. Thank you so much for watching my videos and being along with me for this journey. You already know you're going to get so much content this spring and summer. I'm so excited. I have the time to do it, and my dad would be so proud of me and here's the thing so I actually started like a Google Docs document and I got a new notebook which is so cute I will show you guys it. it's so cute but I plan out all my videos for the week and I just created 10 video ideas so then I have next week's and then in the process of these next two weeks I will be thinking of them I definitely want to make a video of like a day in the life of a small influencer just to show you guys like how I stay organized um, how I'm going to just be more you know on top of my channel and making so many videos so definitely stay tuned for everything i love you i love you i love you thank you for your kind comments you guys i try to respond to every single one and if i don't get to yours just know i will read them i will like i love you guys i try my absolute best because every comment means so so much to me you have no idea but anywho z's i'm gonna go i don't know what i'm gonna do let's film honestly i'm gonna film another video why the heck not let's live our best lives all right you guys i love you the most and i'll see you in my next one